Ah! Whoa! Alright, it's a room full of people there. I like it. How you doing? I see you sitting there on that couch. You over there in the kitchen. What up? What are you cooking? Alright, welcome to the show. Not nation here. We're talking about bugs in our locks. So make sure you stay tuned. This is happening. I have found bugs in my locks before. I'm not gonna lie. Were they infestations of bugs? No. Luckily not, but yes, I have found bugs, creepy crawlies in my locks. Let me think, I've found a spider in my lock. Probably about twice I've found that occasion happen. Uh, they just kind of fall off from in nature off a tree branch or something, like they just fly in your hair sometimes. I've also found ladybug in my locks before. I've found a tick in my head. It wasn't in my locks, it was in my freaking scalp. Things like mosquitoes, Gnats, little little flies, like I've seen those in my locks before too, but never eggs, never lice, never like earwigs. The biggest dreadlock myth is that we have lice and bugs growing in our hair. In fact, we need to debunk this and get Google to take down this article, but upon researching Bob Marley's death, it will say that he died with different types of lice species found in his locks. No, that's a lie article. It's a myth, mythical article, I swear. In truth, all truth of the matter is he died without his locks. It's definitely a he say, she say type of event. Fake news. Bob Marley would have kept really good care of his hair. Being able to wash it often, accessible to natural water sources in Jamaica to wash it in, so I would not suspect that there was any sort of lice in his locks. For one thing, if people are out there thinking that dreadlocks are hollow inside or that they would be able to host insect infestations, then you have to think again. Dreadlocks are thick. They're solid inside. There's no way there's nowhere for bugs to kind of hollow out or to cave to live in as a cave. It just doesn't exist. The only time I've seen bugs in my hair is never actually in my lock. I would never say I've seen bugs in them, but I've seen bugs on them. And like around the root is kind of the only place that you could really have a bug into. But even at that point, it wouldn't be in your lock so much. It would still be in the new growth. But I've never even had that. All the bugs I've seen that I've landed on my head, I've always kind of just like been on the scalp area, but never in a dreadlock. There is nothing inside of our dreadlocks. There is nothing for bugs to want to create a habitat there. There's no food sources, uh, unless you're that tick that was feeding off my blood like a vampire. Unless you have food stuck in your locks and that's what they're trying to get to. Say you have your locks dipped in a sugary substance by accident. Then you might find some ants or wasps trying to get to your locks. I actually heard that lice is more susceptible to happen in hair that's anything but type 4. Everything that isn't Afrocentric is what is susceptible for lice to live in. Not to say that black people can't get lice, but I just heard that it's a lot harder for this to happen. Fact check that. I feel like any bug that's gonna decide to invest, invest in living in an infestation in our head, our most valuable resource for them to feed off of them is our blood. So if anything decides to live there, it's gonna host itself on our scalp and not in our locks directly. After having dreadlocks for over 15 years in total, I've never experienced life. In fact, I've never experienced life in my whole life. What does that have to say? I've been brought up to be aware of lice and to not get into those sticky situations of collecting lice from other people. The only thing is I can give an advice for is if you are buying used hats from people or from a thrift store, even new hats from some stores, you might wanna not try them on in the store when you have locks because just in case there is lice living inside of that hat from somebody else that's just tried it on. So, in the end of the day, dreadheads, lockheads, I don't know, we need to come up with a term for dreadhead that doesn't have the word dread in it. Nazi heads, not, not locks, not heads. People that have dreadlocks, 
will get the same bugs that people that don't have dreadlocks will get. And if you're wondering what type of bugs these are that are the irregular occurrence in humans, head lice, ringworm, hookworm, face mites, scabbies, giardias. I don't even know what half these are. Leave a comment down below. When did you ever find a bug in your hair? Let us know what it was and what the story behind it is. I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, remember to, remember to subscribe or else I'm coming for you.